So here I was, this uh, housewife, 59-year-old housewife from suburbia, um, at the Trenton Transit Center with a paper bag and the clothes I had on my back. Um, the journey started, I would say, around 2007, 2008. There was a series of illnesses, there was a series of deaths. But then when things started to go downhill, I just became, I like rolled up into a ball. I didn't even want to get out of bed in the morning. I was not employed. I had just gotten divorced. My divorce was final in March, March 13th to be exact, and I got to the mission on March 20th. I had no alimony. Uh, I had 15 cents in my pocket. And the thing that gave me the will to go on, as I was walking down Carroll Street, I still had my iPhone. And uh, I still had capabilities with Facebook and the internet. Uh, but I knew at any particular moment it was going to be turned off. So I checked my phone, turned my phone on to see if I still had battery life. And without hitting Facebook, without hitting anything, there was a, a vision, a, a picture on my screen. And it was a picture of Jesus with his arms wrapped around a young boy. And underneath it was the quotation from the Bible, Isaiah 41.10, Fear not, I am with you. When I saw that on my phone, I just broke down. I don't know if I broke down because I was sad or because I knew I was going to be okay. very, very kind worker, woman that worked at the Trenton, uh, at the rescue mission, um, took me aside the first night that I was there and sat with me for two hours and said, why? What brought you here? So I told her my story and she said, I'm going to help you. I also met with Masudi who is the uh, director of the Rapid Rehousing Program. And we all worked out a plan together. And their advice to me was, you just do what we guide you to do, but you have to do your part. When you came in here, the whole family, everybody left that alone. Remember what I told you? I said, everybody will come back in your life. I know you did. I said, everybody will come back. Forget them for now, let's focus on you. Let's move you forth. I would seek out Catholic Charities. Catholic Charities is an amazing organization. I've known about Catholic Charities for years, and they've always done amazing. I never knew the intricacy of the help that they provide and all the facets involved. But I must say, you can't walk through these doors and expect them to hand it to you on a silver platter because that's not what it's about. And you wouldn't be serving yourself if you did that.